Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Blancpain 50 Fathoms Tribute to Aqualung. You can see this one of 500 2011 model year limited edition and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing details for this Blancpain 50 Fathoms Tribute to Aqualung. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 cents centimeters in circumference. The case size and proportions are the reference 5015 that we've known and loved since its first debut at Basel World in 2007, but there are significant changes to strap, case finish, bezel, dial, hands, even the visible case back that reveals the modified caliber 1315 movement. We'll get to that in a moment, but let's talk about fit feel. The watch is 45 millimeters across the round of the case. That's not inclusive of the burly crown and crown guards. In terms of thickness, it's a thick timepiece, 15 millimeters, and you can see how it flares from the base of the case to the edge of the bezel, which can cause it to get hung up on some of the tightest formal cuffs and dress sleeves. However, from lug to lug, the watch truly astounds, making itself compatible with a broad range of smaller wrist sizes. The timepiece is only 50.5 millimeters lug to lug, which puts it in the same size class as many of the contemporary Supercase 40 millimeter Rolex sports watches. So if you can wear a 40 millimeter contemporary Rolex, for instance, a 116610 Submariner, you can wear this, and that's the surprise ergonomically. The watch is huge, but it wears small. Think again, Rolex Submariner, not so much Hublot Big Bang. Now, the watch has a unique strap, which is made of sailcloth. It's a high-tech fiber that's very, very strong and very difficult to tear. The perforation pattern is designed to evoke vintage Corfam synthetic straps as may have been fitted during the 70s, but it's important to note that this model year 2011 special series is designed to pay deference to the late 1950s Aqualung model, which was a U.S. civilian distribution of the military Blancpain 50 Fathoms retailed by U.S. divers. So the watch you see is a combination of perhaps a series of historical elements, a strap inspired more by the 70s, and a case bezel and dial inspired more by the 50s. The watch has a very substantial twin-trigger double deployment. Let me show you how that works. It's brushed and satin finished, milled out stainless steel, just like the case. It features a double deployment action, so it has two swing arms, easier to fit to a smaller wrist. And just like the lugs, it's fit by screws. You can see how the watch is joined to its scrap by screws. Strap screwed on both sides, no spring bars. That's the more secure way to affix a heavy sports watch case to a strap. It's more secure, it's more expensive to make, and again, if you're paying top dollar for one of the best dive watches in the segment, you want that degree of security and confidence. Also worth mentioning that this incredibly tough textile strap has a supple rubberized coating on the bottom, both to improve its longevity in presence of wrist moisture, oils, grit, but also to make it feel softer against the skin. It looks and feels upscale. Now it's important to note that this model features an entirely satin finished case. The standard 5015 is all of high polish and given its somewhat rounded sensuous form, its substantial mass, its deep and imposing lugs, the watch can overwhelm in high polish and is not to every taste. Many will prefer the satin or subdued finish featured on the Aqualung Tribute Edition that we have here. I think it's a decided upgrade and I actually feel that it looks more upscale compared to the high polish, which is a bit of a generic look. Now, on bezel and dial, there are several significant changes from the standard 5015. You can see that the bezel itself, still a beautiful cambered sapphire, has been pared down with fewer calibrations to pay tribute to the 1950s Aqualung models. Likewise, the dial has been revised. The applied indices and numerals have been replaced with printed variants to recall history, and the hands have changed from broadsword to baton style. There's also a different signature on the dial at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock a different font altogether, and you'll note the elimination of the depth rating, though the watch remains rated to 300 meters as the standard 5015 is. Changes continue on the case back. I'm going to rotate through that gorgeous 
cambered sapphire that has defined the 50 fathoms since the 2000s. It's beautiful. It looks like the vintage acrylic used on the heritage models, and it's paired with a beautiful domed sapphire over the dial itself. Fully luminescent bezel, worth mentioning, folks, and I'll show you a loom shot in a second. But first, let's look at the 1315 caliber. 35 joules, three mainspring barrels, 120 hours of power reserve, efficient unidirectional winding. It is a sports watch caliber, not thin, fine, but delicate, like the earlier Frederic Piguet calibers used in 50 Fathoms models during the 2000s and 90s. This one is expressly built for sports watches, and with a free sprung balance operating at 4 hertz, it is both resistant to shock-induced timing deviation and exceptionally precise. It's a pleasure to use this crown and interact with that upscale exclusive movement, which I should mention again is only used by Blancpain within the swatch group. The crown is substantial and its stem is exceptionally thick and rugged. A lot of times when you pull the crown on a burly sports watch, you get the feeling of a bowling ball suspended on a chopstick. Not so here. This thing feels like it's supported by the prop shaft of the Queen Mary. Very substantial. It does feature hacking seconds, so when you pull it to extremity, you stop the balance, halt the seconds hand. Now you can synchronize to an atomic clock or dive timer. and. There is a quick set function for the date, so should it run down, you can rapidly correct it. The movement itself, though tough and sports watch oriented, is a work of art. You can see this gorgeous rotor and the simulated bubble pattern, the cavitation off the blades. All of the bridges themselves feature hand applied, mirrored and rounded enclage. There's beautiful polishing in the jewel and screw sinks. All of the screw heads themselves are polished and their slots chamfered. This is pretty much the best finish you will get on any sports watch caliber. If you look at an Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore Diver, the finish is no better. And yes, this watch certainly deserves comparisons to that ilk. You can see and you can purchase this one of 500 Blancpain 50 Fathoms tribute to Aqualung on our website.